Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. That breeze. Not really. No, our first day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry to disturb. We were just admiring your mangy fur. How do you do it? A special shampoo? Or maybe an ugly brush? <laughs> 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 No reason to panic. I know. All we have to do is order new costumes. Yeah. What? How? On the magic screen with all the little buttons. The elves order stuff on it all the time. You <laughs> mean a computer? Yeah, that's what I said. So, who's the expert, huh? Now, all we have to do is order. Error. Please try again. <laughs> error. 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 Thank you, Mr. Ah. Stone. Order complete. Ah. Please await processing. You see? Told you I'm an expert. The computer even knew who I am. <sighs> right. You just got lucky. Your order will be delivered in... Five, four, three, two, one. It's here. Hey! Take care of this, would you, Vic? Watch where you... <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll just go ahead and take care of these. We... we messed up the order. I've never seen anything like this in the forest. They're awesome! We do look pretty cool, don't we? You sure this doesn't make me look too fat? Yeah. Hey, what kind of animals are you anyway? The uh, well. Uh, what if they're wild animals? <laughs> Ridiculous! Just think about it. If these were wild animals, we would have known them in the forest. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's good. Mr. Computer Expert messed up his order. <laughs> I can reorder the right ones in five seconds. No problemo. Hey guys, oh. we're home. Quick, we gotta put the old costumes back on. Where are they? Vic? You said take care of them, so I took care of them. They're in the trash. What? Oh yeah, that was so much fun, wasn't it? Vic, you gotta get them back. From the dumpster? Vic, please. There's no way I'm going to dirty my fur twice in the same day. If washed... <laughs> Where are the others? Don't worry, honey. You know them. They can't be far. You two stay here, okay? Sam and I are going to get our costumes. Struck. <laughs> What's going on? It seems like everyone's scared of us. Of us? Do I really look scary in this thing? Scary? Nah, more like ridiculous. <sighs> Come on. 
Discover Stash Paste's new product by Criminus Lab. With Stash Paste by Criminus Lab, forget about your old life. The new one will be hairy and fairy. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. I absolutely <laughs> need one. <laughs> Ooh, a documentary on exotic animals living in far-off lands? I'm in. Did you see that? Wash is a lion! Shh, look! These far-flung corners of the globe are inhabited by strange animals. This nocturnal mammal who lives in the savannas of Africa... It's me! Yikes! How ugly is that thing? I can't even look at it! The aardvark returns to its burrow before sunrise and before the lion has uttered his first roars of the day. <laughs> Whoosh! I really think it's us everyone's afraid of! Of course not! They're scared of the driver! Meanwhile, thousands of kilometers from the Savannah Plains, the Cobra Moth flutters carefree through the jungle. Hey! That's me! This African butterfly is about to commit a fatal error. It is going to brush its large wings against the whiskers of a Bengal tiger. And that's Sam about to attack you! Sam, they're gonna arrest him. Like every day, the Babarusas are playing in the mud. Breaking news, brought to you by Stash Pace, a criminous product. We interrupt this program to bring you the highly coincidental news that exotic animals from far off lands have invaded our city. Huh? It's Wash and Sam. The question on everyone's mind at this hour, can these stunning beasts be tamed and turned into household pets? What do the experts have to say? Uh, no. But that means Sam and Wash might be sent far, far away. Huh? We gotta do something. <laughs> okay, let's go quick. Row, 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 row. Phew, that was close. This is gonna be your turn, coward! Hey, over here! Oh! The vet? What's he doing here? Maybe he's gonna stop the truck with that. Wash, I don't think he's trying to stop the truck. I don't always agree with you, but for once, I think you're right. Quick, we're heading for the botanical garden. Sam, hurry up! Just leave me here. Yeah. Come on, move! We already have a bird on our team. <laughs> That's the unmistakable roar of a tiger. They can't be caught. <laughs> You coward! It's up to you, Vladimir! Guys! Susie! Susie! Quick! Take off your costume! Are you nuts? The vet will send us back to the forest! The forest? With those costumes, he's gonna send you to the jungle! Not fun for a boy and a fox! Quick! Eugenie's waiting for us! <laughs> a fox and a wild boar? The things you find in botanical gardens these days. Wait a sec. Those are wild animals. 
Shouldn't we return them to the forest? Are you kidding? We're looking for a lion and a tiger. That's a million times more exciting. Are you sure you're okay, Vladimir? It can be pretty dangerous. <laughs> Our costumes aren't in here. We're done for. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy! While you guys were in the garden distracting them, I got to the truck and grabbed our disguises. All part of your plan. Right, Washington? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, guys. Did, did you see that hangry lion and that vicious tiger? Chill, guys. We scared them away. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you smell this? It smells like garbage. We still have bear spots in our costumes. Oh. Rats, we can't order new costumes now. Mr. Rail's on his computer. Hmm? <laughs> Hello, it's me, the bearded woman. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. Where are the pets? We're going to scare them. What in the world is that? The stash paste. The stash what? The stash oh. paste. Uh -huh. They put it everywhere on my toys, on the pillows, and even on me. They like it a lot. Come on, let's go. Be generous. Hey, they're in the kitchen. Hello, furry. Meow. Oh. Oh. Arf, arf. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hmm? What's that? Huh? <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him. Shh! Don't make a peep. A little more to the right. <laughs> It's just pet treats. <laughs> the best ever pet treats. Yep, this is it. Right? Of course not. Could anything that cute be dangerous? <laughs> Aww. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Look at them. They're already friends. Aww. 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 Now you guys all be nice to Baby. Aw, perfect name, honey. After all, he is just, just a, a baby. baby. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're off to work. Play nice. Aww, so, so cute. Hi, guys. Wow, this is comfy. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's, it's, it's a television. It entertains us. Oh, show me. <laughs> show me. Oh! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Funny. What else? Oh, more. Uh, not that one. Not that one either. Nope, not that. Keep going. Wrong mm. way! Mm. Help me! No! Oh, I sorry, I mean. Ah, now I'm thirsty. You guys have a lake I can drink? What? Rah! <laughs> Tiny lake. Gross. What? What is why? This. What you're doing. We don't drink out of the toilet, dummy. You don't? Well, what do you use it for? <sighs> <sighs> yep, sure do like it here. Don't go in there. It's toxic. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> hey, I love that tune. Uh, uh, help me. Uh, uh. Uh, hey, Mitch, you know, Vic is a real pet, just like you and me. She's not some rag doll, she... Hmm, uh, actually, it's annoying. She doesn't really like to be held against her will, so maybe you could just... <laughs> and that's why we never hang out. Look at that! So cute! Baba Boo Boo! Honey, I think they're trying to tell us something. Arf, no! arf, 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 wolf! Wolf, wolf! Wolf, wolf, arf! Oh! oh. Baby ate everybody's food! <laughs> ha! Here we go! He's out of here! And it's all. Our fault. What? We should have left more food for him. Baby's going on a growth spurt. Aww, Aww, so, so cute. cute. <laughs> oh, baby bear. Our very own baby bear. <laughs> Come on, Bush, you're the bus. <clears throat> hey, Mitch, uh, been meaning to tell you about some of the rules around here. Yeah, like no hugging or smothering other animals without permission. <laughs> it's just, you know, so we can all live in harmony, together. I'm not a big fan of rules. In fact, yuck, it leaves a nicky taste in my mouth after I say it, and together makes me feel cramped. Yeah, but Mitch, we can all... No more all. I want to be the only pet in this house, except, of course, for little Vic. Ooh. Uh, help me. <laughs> You got till sunrise to get lost. Back to the wild, dummies. And if you don't, 
I'll tear off your costumes and show the humans who you really are. <laughs> Big, dumb, unbearable bear. I don't want to leave. I love walls. No more sleeping in our comfy house. No more delicious treats. Or butt scratches or tummy rubs. Isn't there anything we can do? You heard what he said. He'll tear our costumes off if we don't. Tear our costumes off, he says. Hmm. Wait. Tear costumes off. It's a chance we'll have to take. Hungry. Mm. Oh, I forgot I ate it all. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. You gotta get him really worked up. Yo, Mitch! What? Why are you still here? The sun is almost up! We're not scared of you anymore, Mitch. <laughs> if you want us to leave, you're gonna have to make us. And we're not leaving without our friend Vic. No one tells me what to do. And Vicky doesn't want to go to the woods. She wants to stay here with me. Don't you, Vicky? <laughs> See? So I guess I'm gonna have to... Ah! Oh, what are you? Ouch! Oh, you really gonna get it now, you stupid! So fast. Hey, Mitch, want a cookie? <laughs> you want some more? Then come and get it. Oh. <sighs> well, 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 what do we got here? You're looking a bit lost, big fella. We're going to take you back home to the forest, shall we? Thanks for that. You're welcome. Thank you guys for sticking up for me. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Phew. He's out of sight. It's high time he went back to the forest. We're so sorry, you guys. Poor babies. Aww. Aww. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. when we leave. Great idea, hon. Now, if I can just remember where I put it. So, where is his spoiled majesty Washington? Oh, no. When I left, he was having a bad dream. I didn't want to huh? interrupt. I mean, where is he sleeping? One of his stupid secret spots? I can't say. Hmm. Come on. It must be a pretty quiet spot if you can sleep this late. <laughs> Hmm, I've checked the closet, so I know he's not in the closet. Hmm, you might as well just tell me. Oh, you can have the rest of my breakfast. <coughs> Here.
perfect. Rig that bad boy in 3.4 seconds. And not a moment too soon. We're going to be late. Have a good day, furbags. That includes you, Washington. Shake a leg, boy. <laughs> Everyone just act perfectly normal for the nice camera. Perfectly normal. Goes clear? What's up, Earthlings? Hmm, I'm starving. If I must, I must. Hey, what's your problem? The problem is you. Hey! What I do? Yeah. Ah. Thanks for attacking Wash. That was nice. What are you talking about? Yeah, show me where he sleeps. No way. I promise. Hey, I know. How about you guys get off of me right now? Oops. Sorry, Washington. What? is going on? You've been caught on tape. <laughs> Naked. What? What's going to happen when the living stones watch the tape and see a fox in their kitchen? We don't. What? Don't be silly. You know, I'm great with electronics. I just have to erase the tape. Come on. Trust me. Must be a new model. Hmm. Come on, delete! Delete, delete, delete! <laughs> okay, great. Let's try something else. Oh, so you didn't show the camera who's the boss of it? Nope, but I've got a new plan. And Vic, you're a big part of it. What kind? I had to touch fur with you beasts once today already. Trust me, you're gonna like this. But first, Sam, go get me my suit. Good evening, neighbors! 
excuse me, you're probably eating dinner, but a wild fox has our dog. I repeat, a wild fox has our dog. Please help. Get the wild fox and enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Letting you out of our sight for a second. Not even for a nanosecond. <laughs> this is a nightmare. I know. Wash is out there all alone. I've got to do something. I just meant us sharing a lap. You better tell me where his secret room is. There he is! <gasps> I think I saw him! Are you sure? Small with red hair and a ferocious smile? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, oops, wait a minute. My mistake, it was just my son. Get back in here. <laughs> oh no, Sam! Quick, he needs fresh air. <laughs> Not too much, the fox could get in. I'll get you some water, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> I think he needs treats, too. Forget about wearing it. Just throw it out the window. And have everyone see Washington's costume just lying on the ground? Oh, yeah. They might wonder where his bones went, huh? Sam, you're good and stuck. Do something, please. You're welcome. Now you have to tell me where this stupid secret spot is. Well, I am grateful for your help. There's huh? only one way I can consider it. Are you kidding? You want me to wear that moldy, crusty, smelly boy dog costume? If you want to see the secret spot. Fine. But that's dealing dirty. Washington. Washington. Oh. No. Washington! Where are you, you stupid beast? Huh? What the? Why are you hiding in this filthy suit, you... Oh, dog food? Wait a minute. Oh. Ah, Washington! It's me! Hello, me? Dummy! Now get me out of this germ blanket! Whoa! It's you! Awesome! I thought it was you that was me! <gasps> Come on! Act scared! Arf, 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 arf. Oh, thank ah. goodness! We were so worried! Okay, have we got everybody now? <laughs> yes, Animal Control, it's me again, uh, Mr. Livingstone. I'm just calling to say that it seems a fox did not kidnap our dog. That's right, did not. Well, it's all yours. Congrats and stuff. Hmm, it needs work, but I'll take it. Washington's secret hideout is finally mine. <laughs> <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. 
Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. lives miserable. Wow, Vic, sounds like you really don't want her in here. I don't. Okay, well, if that's how you feel. I'll go get her. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> looks like we bought winter sweaters in a nick of time. <laughs> Who wants a nice hot cup of herbal tea? I do. We do it. <laughs> this is Eugenie, Susie, and Sam, and of course you know me, Washington, the guy who saved your life. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> She's so cute. Another girl in the house. <laughs> girl power. Yeah. Here's the deal. She can stay with us until it warms up a bit. Yes! It'll be like having her very own pet. She's a pet pet. Thanks for saving her, Wash. What can I say? Sometimes saving the day just feels right, you know? This definitely feels right. Come on, Moth. We'll show you around. And last but not least, the watering point. <laughs> okay, enough for today. Last one on the couch is a prickly pear. She's so cute. Yeah! Oh. Oh. What are you doing? I can't help it. It's every cat's primal urge to capture that moth. So that's why you didn't want her in here. <sighs> if only you could see the moth for the great addition she really is. Vic, maybe if you got to know the moth, you'd see she's really sweet. Trust me, that moth is the opposite of sweet. Come on, Vic. Remember, you once felt the same way about us. I still do. Huh? Susie and Eugenie, stay on Victoria. Don't let her get our new friend. Hooray, hey, Captain. Captain! Is it just me, or is this the nicest scarf ever? <laughs> huh? Oh, yes. There are even holes for ventilation. <laughs> on you, everything looks super. Well, that sweet remark just won you another cup oh. of Ylang Ylang. That's what moths do. They eat wool. And you know what else they do? They never leave. This isn't good. Good luck with the new bestie, Captain Idiot. Look, it's gonna be okay. We can't get angry with the moth for not knowing the rules of living indoors. I mean, there was a time when we didn't know how to act inside a house either. I still don't understand why we don't all use the toilet. You see, moth, we had to learn to hide our natural instincts so we could live inside this nice house. It's true. I'm not really a cat, I'm a boar. I was born to roll in mud, but the one thing that separates cats from boar is, cats don't like to roll in mud. Really? That's the one thing that separates us? 
That and your furball problem. Anyway, I still need to roll around in something, so now I use raisins. It pretty much feels the same. And now when I'm done, no mess. I just eat the evidence. Either way, I win. Here's my story. Bunnies love carrots. I hate carrots. So I just pretend to like them, and then I bury them in the backyard. And no one knows a thing. I'm a bird pretending to be a bird. Well, I think we've explained to them all how to get along in the house. Right, Muff? Okay, okay, maybe we're just going about this wrong. If we can't get her to stop eating... <laughs> ole, ole, Moth! Eat up, little friend. Ah! Problem solved. <laughs> and I thought you'd eat anything. Hmm? I tried, but I choked on the yarn. Wow, for a tiny creature, she can really put it away. Mm-hmm. I'll go find more moth food as soon as I get my own breakfast. Most important meal huh? of the day. Sam, stop! Look at yourself! Ah! What if the living stone sees Sam? We're gonna get kicked out of the house for sure! <laughs> Everyone stop panicking. Sam, until I figure something out, no leaving the room. The elves can't see you, even if it means no breakfast. What? I don't know what to say, Moth. I trusted you. <gasps> Moth! No! You couldn't listen to me. Moths are extremely annoying little bugs. They're not indoor pets. They're indoor nightmares. And it's just going to get worse. <laughs> Worse than no breakfast? I'm so hungry! Sammy? Is that you, boy? Oh. Oops! You need some private time. I'll leave you to it. If I were a moth, where would I hide? Aha! Meow! <laughs> Aha! She's not here! But she was. We're doomed! Once there she Sam! May I help you pack? Idea! What if we unscrew every light in the house so the living stones won't be able to see me? I'll only come out at night when it's dark. They'll call me Night Cat. What? Bad idea? <laughs> yeah! What's going on here? Oh, well, that's adorable. We can't stay here. Your little help here. Look, you tried, we tried. But you're never going to make it as an indoor pet. You just act too nuts. You think I like acting like this? Oh, you can talk? No one ever likes a moth. No one ever tries to see what's inside. Everyone only focuses on the back. Well, you do eat people's clothes and stuff. I can't help it. You have no idea what it's like not to want to be who you are. Hmm. I think we know a little something about not wanting to be who we are. I mean, I'm a fox pretending to be a dog. Lucky you. i do anything to be something else. I have an idea. How about I do what I do, and you do what you do? Is extra fuzzy. Well 
done, Moth. Your turn. Not gonna lie, <laughs> she looks pretty good. So, are you ready to head out and see the world, Moth? I'm ready. Thanks, guys. You really are the best. <laughs> ah. hmm. Don't even think about it. Oh, fine, just get it over with. Yeah! I'm gonna miss her. Are you kidding me? This place was crazy when she was here. Just admit it. You like that, Moth. Please. I only let it kiss me so it would go away. I think I helped you get over your issues with Moths. You're welcome. Whatever. Can we please go back to our normal life? And by that, I mean where the only thing driving me crazy is you. Fine. Wild ones, let us resume our mellow, quiet life. Everyone relax. <laughs> <laughs> The green bath mask. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Bloop, bloop. So, I put the energy commuters in, I activate the directional multiprocessor, and good as new. Yay, it's fixed! Who's a techno wizard? Who? <laughs> it's you, huh? It's like your magic! <laughs> okay, enough is enough. If I can't have a simple nap on my own armchair, please let me know when I can come back. One more magic trick, one more. Well, since you insist, now that I fixed it, I can do this. Oh. Or this. Ha! Oh. Or this. Hey, he's not just a vacuum cleaner, he's a computer. And thanks to his fancy computer parts, he can clean your house without you. So go out and enjoy life. Great home! Now there is a piece of technology worthy of my talents. And Craig is a great name. It's for me! Is it your new action figure? No, but almost as cool. Oh. I am Craig. I What's am going old. on? <gasps> Is that Craig, the computer vacuum cleaner from TV? You know him? Of course. Oh, sweetie, you're the best. Now we can go out and enjoy life. I bet that was quite a splurge. I, uh, yeah, right. Nothing is too good for my wife. Scanning, <gasps> scanning, scanning. scanning. Incredible! Diagnosis, filthy. You are likely busy professionals. It is okay. Crank is home. Oh, let's not waste another second in this pigsty. <laughs> let's go to Mexico! Let's meet my new friend. Craig, I'm Washington. Hello, I am Craig. Oops. Sorry, dude. No hands. Look, I hear you're very smart. Guess what? I am too, so I... Hello, I am Craig. I am home. Hello, I am Craig. I am home. Oh, okay. We'll talk more later. I am Craig. Huh? I am home. Uh, excuse me? I just so happen to be the cleanest person in this house. Now, I would like to sleep. Dirty! Oh, what? A vacuum? Ah! Ah! Oh, wow. A vacuum? Uh, and how it's may I help you? I think 
just trying to sing. It's a, vac vac a vacuum cleaner, <laughs> yes. And also a computer. I ordered him. For a scientific experiment. What? You're the one who brought that monster into the house? Technically speaking, it wasn't me, me. <laughs> Ow, again. <gasps> Yippee! Look what he can do. Craig, over here, buddy. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Yes, I knew. Well, Craig, you don't really seem all that smart. My expert opinion tells me there's a glitch in his fancy computer parts, and that's a job for a high-tech whiz, which is me. Washington, stay away. Send that monster back to its lair. We have a broom. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I think you broke him. <laughs> now we're talking! <laughs> I love hacking. Nice job, genius. Okay, so he needs a minor adjustment. <laughs> It's a bad dream. It's a bad dream. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, morning. Okay, Craig. I'm starting to regret this purchase. I know where the receipt is. Faster, Sam. You're going to get your butt vacuumed up. Come on. Get lost, you. Bad appliance. Do I even need to say it? You're a big dummy. Thanks for a great day. No, but seriously, we're safe up here. Safe? Oh, sure. Everything is fine. In fact, I think I'll just... Uh... Hey, look! Craig wants to play tag, too! find a way out of the house. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> there we you guys! Vic, you'll lure Craig. No way am I going to be breakfast for that crazy vacuum. You brought him into the house, you make him leave. Okay, look, I have other great plans. Just head out the door, forget the plan. Dirty, dirty. Sam, remember the plan! Dirty. This way! Come on! Dirty. Dirty. Sam, we're good! Come on, quick! Dirty. Dirty. Real slow now. No sudden movement. I don't want to run away anymore. I'm stronger than that machine. You don't scare me, you stupid can! Oh! Dirty! Oh. Dirty! 
You guys, give him more stuff to suck up. We gotta fill him up! This is even better than cartoons! <laughs> Nothing left to throw! Yes, there is! Bat! It was great knowing you, Wash. You too, Vic. No, not you! Your costumes! Impossible! No way am I going back to the forest! Oh, yeah? You'd prefer to be swallowed and ground to a pulp by a killer robot? You got no choice, Wash. Farewell, Dream Home. outside and enjoy life again. We'll pretend we never saw this. Let's go back to Mexico. I still don't understand what went wrong. Well, on the bright side, I no longer wish I had my computer. <laughs> Looks like I made a very smart exchange. Cut, cut, cut. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Um, what are you doing? <sighs> I want to bet with a squirrel. That sandwich is mine, but I gotta get to it. <clears throat> yeah, um, have you thought about climbing <clears throat> like an actual real cat? <clears throat> oh, of course. That was my plan B. <clears throat> Cat stuck in a tree? Now that's video gold! Oh, wait, is that Sam? Real cat! Real cat! Go, Sam! Go! Uh, no. no, Sam! No! <laughs> Sammy, you certainly earned that sandwich. And you gave me some priceless footage here. Bon appetit! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Sam, we weren't laughing at you. We were laughing at the way you fell. It's different. Do it! Uh, Sam, hey, there you are. <sighs> Great. I guess you already heard that I fell out of a tree. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, seriously. You're a natural barn comedian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah! But, Vincent, how did you... Hi, Sam. I just wanted to say congratulations on your success. I admit I'm surprised. Yeah, thanks? Wait! What is going to... Good! You ask him, now you! Uh, Sam, can you sign an autograph for us? Huh? We can probably sell it. We're never selling it. Yeah, sure, if you want. What should I write? Uh, can you put two nugget with all my love? No! Oh, for Fluffy and Nugget. But mostly for Fluffy. <sighs> girls, girls, how about this? <laughs> Will someone please tell me what's up with Sam? Uh, what? You don't know? OMG, Washington! Oh, and quick! Sam's in the computer! What? I, I'm not in the computer. I'm... I'm right here! <laughs> I get it! Mr. L shared that video of you online! It appears that tumble you took is a big hit, Sam! A star? I'm a star! Whoa! Well, for today, anyway. Must be from one of my goof tube fans. Yeah? Huh? <laughs> Gee, I don't care for one. Thanks! I love being a star. <laughs> and all you did was fall out of a tree. People have such weird taste. For once, we agree. <laughs> Excuse me, do you have an appointment? No, I was just bringing these... Uh, sorry, Sam is swamped. Lots of fan mail, you understand. He's booked up until at least tomorrow. Yeah. Well, then can you hold these until then? Complicated. I bet you hold it like this. If Sam can become a star with a stunt that stupid, just imagine what a triple jointed fox like me can do. You shoot, I perform. I don't know if I want to get involved in your wild animal games. Hmm, really? But I think of you as a director type, bossy. Hmm? Well, I am very visual. I suppose this would be easy enough. When do we start? So here's the deal. I rollerblade onto the trampoline, get shot into the air, and land on the mattress. You've told me this three times. I got it. Take one. My costume. Who's gonna notice? Come on, we need to take two. <sighs> Actors. 
Wow, all those clicks, it's a success. People love me. <laughs> it's still increasing. the star now. Yeah, well, if you want my opinion, it's mostly thanks to the director's talent. Way to go, Wash. Hey, can we play too? Oh, yeah, we want to make a film. <laughs> You're too little to pull off something that sophisticated. We'll talk in five years. Aww. <laughs> I just need to borrow this for a second, thanks. Vincent? Yes, sir? You've just been promoted to director. You're gonna film me. I've always wanted to work in film. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, it will be hilarious. I guess so. In three, two, one, rolling! So he wants to play dirty. Well, now it's more! Washington! Washington! Boy, am I ever gonna teach that little rat a thing or two about filmmaking. Washington! 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 It's a wrap. The tree stuff made you, but we should expand your of. Agree. I need to keep it fresh. <laughs> 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 hit the steel girder the first time. Right, so it's a tie. Why don't we just say we're both stars, huh? That's fine with me. I think I'm gonna take a nap. Stardom is very exhausting. There's no way we're gonna let those two losers win. I know we can outdo them. I've got tons of awesome ideas, Watch. Sam? You can't do this to me. We've got to make the third part of our trilogy. What? <laughs> what was that? Oh, look. That's our video. <laughs> you really are funny when you sleep. What? That's the internet blockbuster of the year? Oh, Lane, there's not even any action. <sighs> I should have kept all the takes of Wash without his costume. It could have been huge. Gotta run. I need to seriously think about a career move. Filmmaking may not just be the right choice for me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Tunnel, a surprise obstacle awaits on the other side. How exciting! Oh no! And the winner of the race will receive a year's supply of pet food! A year's supply? Until now! Well, I think it's time for me to fade out. That kind of partying stuff, that's really not my cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vicky! Oh, oh, no! <laughs> Alfie! <laughs> I see you, wild ones. You're coming back with me into the forest where you belong. <laughs>
is on. What in the world? Doesn't seem right. <laughs> huh? Where did the race track go? Watch out! Are you nuts? I can smell each and every one of you. Where's the rest of the gang? You're all staying here in the wild, like real animals, where you belong. But we're too fancy for life in the wild. Huh? Ah! Hey! Huh? Keep it up, it's working. Come on, 
let's get out of here before he wakes up. Huh? Wait! Where's Gracie and Alfie? Mm -hmm. And Vic! Who cares? You supply a pet food, remember? Ta-ta! Wow, what a jerk! <laughs> Wait for me! I'll go and check! Ah! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We gotta do something! Absolutely! You're gonna help <laughs> them! You sure? Phew! That was too close! Thanks, Vic! I never doubted you for a second! Not even for a second? Not for a single second! Vicky! Kitty! Vicky Kitty! <laughs> <laughs> For me! That's ridiculous. We didn't come from over there. We came from over there. Everybody knows that cats have an excellent sense of direction. Please, you're an alley cat. As if you know which way to go. You can't even decide how to run for your life. <laughs> Everybody shush it! You shush it! We gotta dig our way out, I'm telling you! We need to start digging our way out of here! You heard me, dig! I say we just run! Anyway, as long as we're not here! Hello, lovely! I knew you'd come back! How about we ditch these dweebs and run off to Paris? Everybody stick together and follow me! Washington! I'm coming for you! They're done for. Here comes the tunnel. The kibble is mine. Huh? Sorry, I got a race to win. Ah! 
Sausage is definitely the worst to ever walk the earth. You did it, boy! We won! Uh, not exactly. The rules clearly state the first animal to cross the finish line wins. This year's supply of pet food goes to the goldfish. You did it! know who the real winner is? Us! You guys are the best! Yeah? Woof! 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 Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. vacation. The oh. elves and I go away every year and it's pretty great. Yeah? What's so great about it? Mm, relaxation, duh. Do you know how exhausting it is being a house cat all year round? But if you don't like lounging around all day and 24-hour access to an all-you-can-eat buffet, then you wouldn't like it. Ew! An all-you-can-eat what? Did you just say what I think you said? We're going too, right? Of course. You can't very well stay home by yourselves, can you? <laughs> Look, the pets are all lined up and ready to roll. Good thing, too. We've got to get you guys to the kennel. Oh, huh? the kennel. That's right. The vet said to arrive by noon. The k k k k kennel The vet? The Livingstones go on their summer vacation to the kennel? I thought the kennel was for pets. It is for <gasps> pets. The elves are leaving us there. That could be fun. Did you not hear the part about the vet? The kennel is his! <gasps> what? I didn't say we were going with them. Anyway, the kennel rocks. You'll love it. It's like a spa. You get groomed, brushed, bathed, scratched, massaged. We can't get groomed! They'll see our zippers! Wait, wait! What about the all-you-can-eat buffet, huh? They keep a couple of big dishes of dry kibble out all day. It's not the greatest food, but it's there. Let's go! <gasps> oh! What has gotten into you, pets? Come on, guys, we're gonna be late for vacation! Huh? <laughs> I'll take Victoria in for her first. 
a spa treatment. But you can just drop off these first time guests in the first room for a thorough exam. Thanks a bunch. See you guys in a week. Have a great vacation. Come on, guys. Hurry up. <laughs> 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 I'll be right in. We gotta think of something. If he gives us an exam, we're goners. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Who have we got here today? An idea! An idea! Quick! Ah! Washington, Sam, Eugenie, and S- That looks scary, huh? Can't I ever just get groomed in peace? Good for all. How did wild animals even get an appointment with me? Deep breath, Doctor. Deep breath. <laughs> Where are the living stones, pets? <laughs> Some very distressing news? Your pets have gone missing for the moment? Your naughty pets have run away momentarily. We are doing our best to deal with this inconvenience. <laughs> <clears throat> and we need your help. Do you still have your big game net from our college safari days? Come on, lad, get it! It's your only chance! Darn, it's all over. The old chap is too scared! Why, yes, I do. I'll be right over. Nothing would make me happier than to catch those pet-eating beasts. Oh, if only I wasn't such a baby. <laughs> Duty is calling, Vladimir! But I... That's impossible, Velma. But you don't understand. I'm afraid, for dog's sake. I'm afraid! <laughs> I'm a coward. Pull yourself together, Vladimir. You're pathetic. Do I know you? It's me, Silly Susie! Uh, 
sorry. I'm really relaxed. You gotta help us! Animal Control have Sam Washington and Eugenie cornered, and, well, we need their costumes back where they're got us! <laughs> you, little Miss Victoria, are going home to the living zones. Hopefully your impressive grooming will distract them from the fact that all their other pets are missing. You're surrounded! You're going back to the forest! Looks like this is it, Sam. It was fun until right now, Wash. You remember that time I shoved candy up my nose and had to sneeze so bad and you guys... Here I am, and on a minute too soon! Oh. 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 Uh, hey! Uh, hey! What's going on? We came straight away when we got your message. My car! We've got to find him, Doc! But... You've got to be brave, Mrs. L. Don't throw the nets before we see the white of their eyes! We sure had some good times together, didn't we? We sure did! Susie! Victoria saves the day. Yeah! <laughs> Quick! The suits! The suits? <laughs> Susie, do you have the suits? Me? No! They were with you in the cage! You must mm -hmm. be kidding! It was our very last chance! <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> easier to carry that way. Hey, what's happening? No. 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 Oh. no they are. But a uh, how? The who? <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh. You said they'd run away. Uh yes, well, they did run away, but uh, this is where they ran to. Home sweet home. Looks like they were just missing you two. We, we miss, miss them too. too. I'm so glad our kennel could bring you closer together. I hate to interrupt this happy scene, folks, but we've still got some wild animals to track and catch. Are you coming with us, Vladimir? Uh, me? Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yahoo! <laughs> you know, honey... Yes, dear? Sometimes we forget just how good we have it right here at home. What would you think of a... Staycation? Exactly! What's more fun than staying right here and hanging out with our awesome pets? Yeah? <laughs> <sighs> Things I do for this family. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. the coolest thing I've ever heard! What? It's horrible! Ear torture is what it is! Yeah! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> He's a 
cat, and he can't even stand on his own four paws. Hmm. It was too emotional for her. <laughs> you can't get away! <laughs> Looks like fun. Sam, feel like going outside and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Long time no see. How have you been since yesterday? I uh, dug up this treasure just for you, sweetheart. Ah, uh, gee, thanks. Whatever it is, I'm allergic. As you wish. Mm. Oh. You're so cute when you smile. Say what? <sighs> My childhood guitar. Why in the world did I ever stop playing? I think you said you weren't very good. I so admired your honesty. Why, thanks. Well, anyway, I guess I'll just throw this junk out. Junk? He doesn't mean that guitar. He can't throw it out. <laughs> no! <laughs> Follow me. I just knew you couldn't live without me. Yeah, I was so upset I was taking a nap. Make huh? room for me, sweetheart. Are you absolutely certain you wouldn't be more comfortable somewhere else? Like in the middle of a highway, for example? <laughs> nah, this is where I feel best, sweetheart. <laughs> I'll snuggled up with you. <laughs> Going to the flea market is a great idea, honey. Who knows? We might even find some great new junk now that we've cleared out our old junk. Okay, follow me. Hey, I've got a super idea for a game. I count to ten, and while I'm counting, you run off far, far away from me, like, say, to the other side of the city. Easy, right? Let's start. One, two, huh? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Chill out, honey bunch. I just wanted to clean your ears. How can I possibly make you understand? Don't sweat it, sweet pea. I'll do the other ear next. Oh. It's really too bad for the two of us, but you see, I've already got a tomcat in my life. <laughs> yes, in fact, it's the guy who was just playing that Beautiful guitar riff. Mm -hmm. Sam, my rock and roll boyfriend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sam. You can stop now. I don't know if I could take so much awesomeness in one day. I understand. Ugh. I should give my paws a rest anyway. Who was that cat? Oh, he was a nobody. Just some flea bitten alley cat. So, hang out later? Yeah? <laughs> uh. Two. High. We need something to get higher. Check out what I found in the treasure trove. An apple catcher. We can help the girls catch the fruit in the tree. Let's go. Sorry, Bush. I've got other plans. What? You made plans without me? Well, you know, Victoria and me. We get along super well now. She's seen my musical talents and she accepts me as a real cat friend. So, 
You'd rather sit around with Silly Vic than jump for apples with cool me? Sorry, but when you're a cat, Sometimes you just have to hang out with other cats. Okay then, go hang out with your cat friend. But you're gonna miss out on a ton of fun. A ton, I say. Yeah. What kind of awesome cat activity have they got planned for this afternoon? A nap contest? That is so lame. <laughs> Phew, that was a close call. <laughs> <laughs> Been looking for you, Dumplin'. Uh, one, my name is Victoria. Two, you're not allowed to come in through our cat flap without being invited. Very invited by me! <laughs> oh, unreal! Where were you brought up? CD Dump? Why? <laughs> yeah, keep it going, Sam. It's insane. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Go on, do it like that. No, you do it like this. Girls, girls, calm down a second. Let a pro show you how it's done. Mm. Must have been a squirrel. <laughs> you and me can pass around eternity! Awesome, Sam! Awesome! You just saved my life! Yo, oh, thank you, Vic. You know, you're basically my coolest friend. I know. I mean, thanks. Okay then, so see you later, okay? <laughs> Vic and I are just getting tighter and tighter. <laughs> hey there, buddy. You, oh, yeah, I remember you. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. So, are you the dude I heard playing the musical chainsaw? Yeah, uh, yeah, that was me, but it's uh, a guitar. You've been playing for a long time, dude? Yeah, no, not for very long. Dude, you must be kidding. You're awesome. I bet the chicks just love to hear you play. Well, yeah, there is one. Hey! Boy, I really don't have an ear for music. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, maybe you should give me back my guitar now. <laughs> Phew, for a second there, I thought you were going to... <laughs> uh, hey, come back here! <laughs> <laughs> Sam, let me tell you, this is way, way more fun than hanging out with Vic. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Private property here? No trespassing. And don't ever let me see you hanging around here again. Ralph! <laughs> Sometimes being a dog is cool. <laughs> you are so right. This is way more fun than doing cat stuff. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Beloved beasts. Whoever gets there first gets to sleep in the living stone's bed. One, two, three, go! How come I've lived here the longest and I'm on the floor? Vic, relax. We're sleeping indoors. You know what's a bad bed? A porcupine. Pointy, and they snore. But I've done it. Thanks to the wild, I can sleep through anything. Well, I need a pillow. Not too soft, but... Mm -hmm. He's already asleep, isn't he? And dreaming. Beat it, you bandit-faced dumpster divers! We're trying to sleep! <laughs> <laughs> Way to chase off those raccoons, Wash. <sighs> Is Mr. L mad at Washington about the raccoons? Naturally, dogs are supposed to chase off raccoons, but Washington blew it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I call the spot on the couch by Mrs. L's bee. Oh no! If Wash doesn't chase off the raccoons, Mr. L might kick us out. <laughs> I'm overreacting when I should be over overreacting. <laughs> Wake up, Wash. Our lives are over. Hey, I thought I asked you for a 9 a.m. wake up. We have a situation. Listen. Mr. L will kick us out if you don't chase off those scary raccoons. I can chase off raccoons. I chased off way worse back in the wild. You did? Technically, I was chased by way worse in the wild. But no worries, I got this. Time's up, boys. The face closed. Don't gotta go home, but you can't eat here. Oh. I said. <laughs> Arf! <laughs> Yo, I think that dog swallowed his squeaky toy. <laughs> Hit the road. All your rackets making me tired, and you won't like me when I'm tired. Rah! <laughs> <laughs> Go cover your ears with your doggy sweater, fancy paws. My paws aren't fancy. Sure, my nails are trimmed bi weekly, but. Rah! Time for a magic trick. Want to see me pull a fox out of a dog? For my next trick, I'll need a volunteer. Wow! You're a fox? Like a wild fox? Yo, I don't want no trouble. Are we cool? We didn't know you had a long con going on here. No disrespect, bro. Just let us grab some food for the road. Still got my wild side. Yo, is it true what they say about indoor pets? Yep, fresh food from a can, twice a day, every day. You're living the tree, man. Hey, wanna take a break from fancy living and run with us tonight? Yeah, this place has some of the tastiest gutters in the world. Well, it sounds great, but I can't. My humans wake up in a few hours and I have this bone I'm working on. You sure, bro? <sighs> Ooh, you know you can't say no to me. <laughs> What's one night? I got soggy french fries on the fox! Put them in a trash bag here, Ricky! <laughs> What's all the racket?
Hermanos. It was fun. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Blink once for yes, blink twice for... I'm in too much pain to blink. I'm okay. Don't worry, Sam. You smell like trash, both literal and animal varieties. Guys, relax. The Rack Pack is cool. The who and the what? That's the raccoon gang's name, the Rack Pack. Pretty sweet, huh? You know, once you get past the fleas and the farting, they're good guys. Yo, Foxy Washington, you hear? Garbage thief, germ carrier! <laughs> Victoria, heal! Down. Wanna run with us again tonight? Found a taco shack's dumpster! Oh, I do like day old tacos. I do <coughs> like tacos too, but it's bedtime. Bedtime is for dogs, which I guess makes it okay for you. <laughs> Knock it off. I'll be out in a sec. Did you actually join the raccoon gang? Sam, I don't want to hang out with the Rack Pack again, but I need to make sure they hang out away from here to keep Mr. L happy and preserve our safety. You don't want to have to go back to the woods and eat acorns, do you? No, okay, but don't let them give you a tattoo, like mine. Uh, don't worry, I'm a total professional. I'd say look what the cat dragged in, but I wouldn't touch you with Sam's claws. Please, I'm a total professional. <sighs> Why, hello, Washington. Is it tummy rub time in tummy rub town? <laughs> wow, good trick. It's like play dead only as play scary. <sighs> Someone's getting sloppy. Washington, we need to talk. This isn't easy for me to say, especially as I'm thirsty right now and my mouth is dry, but the raccoon is bringing out your wild side, and your wild side is a big jerk. Hmm? Nap time, again. He almost blew our cover and he doesn't even care. Okay, time for plan B. Which is? Whatever I think of next. <laughs> Ah. Oh. Wash, we need to talk. Your wild side is starting to show. We could get kicked out. Oh, you guys. I have my wild side under control. I can stop anytime. You almost bit Mr. L this morning. And I've smelled used litter boxes fresher than you. Excuse me? I defend our garbage and safety by making sure the raccoons eat everyone else's. You want me in that trash? You need me in that trash if you don't want Mr. L to toss us out. We need you in a bath. But Wash, if you keep acting wild, the living stones will kick us out. I can't go back to the forest. It's wet. It's cold. There's no TV. No more talk. Time for action. Ah, I can do action. You make weapons from twigs and feathers. Whoa. If Wash won't do it, I'll chase off those raccoons once and for all. Leave my best friend alone. <laughs> Your best friend is a trash can? Uh, no, Washington. I won't let you ruin his life one second more. Who wants hot dogs? OK. His life might not look ruined, but... Go back inside, fancy fur. Don't call me fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up your pie hole, fools. Jive raccoons best be leaving our hood. That's street slang, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just get ketchup on my fur? That don't come out. Yeah, not until it shakes. Back off, fellas. No way, bro. It's go time. Hey, I wasn't asking. Sure, these indoor pets might not be tough and maybe have ridiculously clean fur. Was that aimed at me? But they are my best friends. You, 
Your words have touched us. In the butt! Beat it, Blamo! You're out of the game! You, cut! Belly dance for us! Belly dance? Yeah, I'm better at that. Belly dance! <laughs> now do the worm! <laughs> Ricky, uh, Fox is back! And these foemen! <laughs> ah, crazy Fox Dog! That ain't a fox, that's a freak! Run, ah! run, run! <laughs> It was just so... I'm sorry, guys. I don't need to run with those raccoons. I already got the best gang ever. No more wild side? <laughs> wow, you really do need a bath. And that's coming from a hog. Hmm? <laughs> just a sec, guys. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. out on my best moves. Check it! <laughs> Sit! Hill! Roll over! I said roll over! That again? Give me a pull. Give me the other pull. Twirl. Bow. Nose in the air. Uh, guys. What are you doing? Your humans are nowhere in sight. Oh, Washington, sometimes it's as if you live in the wild. Don't you know we're training for the Royal Kibble Dog Show? There's only posters plastered all over town. The winner gets a year's supply of Royal Kibble. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so how do I enter the show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Impossible. What? What's the problem? Well, it's just that you are, how can I say this? You are one weird dog. What? Like when you bark, for example. Arr, arr, woof, <laughs> woof. <laughs> okay, now you're just trying to make us laugh. <laughs> it hurts. You'd better go before we laugh to death. <laughs> laugh all you want, but I'm not only going to enter the show, I'm going to win this thing. Come on, guys. I found one. I found one. A poster for the Royal Kibble Dog Show. Way to go, Sam. Okay, let's take it home and put it somewhere where Mr. Livingstone will see it. Okay, Susie, we'll wait for you at home. Don't be too late. Come on, guys. Mmm, spinach nut cake. Oh, no. What's going on, boy? Huh? 
Read for me! Kibble is hosting a dog show? Interesting. Nice job, Susie. Thank you. I couldn't let the poster win. Hey, Wash. Maybe we ought to sign you up. How'd you like to be the Royal Kibble King? <laughs> Classy stuff, Wash. You're a natural show dog. <laughs> See? I mean, who can resist that hilarious bark? Let's do this. Okay, this is getting too weird. Roll over on your hind legs. Heel. Yes, and legs. Nice job. Touch your tongue to your nose. That a boy. Now catch. Dog, wash we, I mean, you are gonna win big today. All hail the king! <laughs> now that's a good one. <sighs> Everything looks rosier after a three hour nap. Say, Wash, when you become the new royal kibble king, can I be your bodyguard? Wow, what? Wash, the royal kibble king? That's right, I'm doing the dog show. Uh, that is not a good idea. Oh, I know. You're still mad about that musical wake-up. No, no, Wash, that's not it. The judges, they... Vic, no negative vibes before showtime, okay? But... Sam? Get you, bud. Okay, okay, forget it. I won't say another word. Consider it zipped. Welcome one and all to the annual Royal Kibble Dog Show. All of our canine contestants will be judged by me, the president of Royal Kibble. But only one of them will become king. Oh, Ready to win, champ? Totally. Nothing can stop me now. Well, hello, Livingstone. Hi there, Doc. I figured I'd see you here. Washington here is competing. Why, hello, Washington. Can't wait to examine those teeth of yours. Very unusual, sharp, and pointy. See you soon. Uh, Doc, could you tell me? The vet wants to examine my teeth? But, but what do my teeth have to do with a talent show? The key! We gotta find the key so she'll tell us! It's not just a talent show. Winning is also based on physical appearance. The vet inspects teeth, fur, claws. It's the final event only for the 10 best dogs. What? Looks don't mean anything. Right, well, I don't make the rules. You can still win, Wash, I know it. Uh, no, Sam. If the vet examines me, I'll, we'll lose everything. It's like you can't win. Yeah, no negative vibes, remember? This box uh, dog has to perform today. Or maybe I don't. Ready, boy? Here it goes. Washington, give a paw. Well, let's start simple. Roll over. Uh, okay, we'll try again. Sit, boy. <laughs> yeah! You're the best, Wash! You can do it, Wash! <laughs> he can't do it. I guess we withdraw. He's usually very obedient. I... I... Oh, no! Poor Mr. Livingstone! 
Nu Did I say I told you so? It's amazing. He's even worse than our wildest dreams. <laughs> Now that's my dog. Uh, has he gone completely mad? Um, okay then. Next! No, here's a real champion for you. Well done, Wash. Now the vet is going to look you over. <laughs> Good dog. Now open your mouth wide. Come on. I'm his bodyguard. It's up to me to save him. Ah! A wild boar! <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and dogs, it has just been brought to my attention that a wild boar is loose in the park. Run for your life! <laughs> Just save my life. But now, who's going to save Sam? Sam's been trapped! <laughs> Washington is in the house! Ow. Ow. A terrific meat! Meet you for Sam! Who cares about competing? Let's get down and party! I won! I won! I never win anything! <laughs> Royal Kibble! Because this dog is king! An entire year of Royal Kibble just for dancing in a commercial? Talk about a dream come true. Next year's contest is just around the corner. We must get funky. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Stubborn wild ones, you guys just don't get it. You're not supposed to be here. It's not natural. You're coming back with me to the forest where you belong. <laughs> ah! Save me! Save me! Stop, evil space dog! You will not take Princess Gracie from her peaceful planet. I'll fight you to the end to protect her! <laughs> woof, woof, woof! Row, woof! Uh, that's the most evil plan I've ever heard! Huh? Awful! Freaky! <sighs> Honey, don't worry, they'll be fine! You really think so? Of course, they did fine the last time we left them, and it's barely two days! They've got plenty of food and water! <laughs> I guess you're right! <laughs> <laughs> You guys are going to stay home the whole weekend by yourselves. Come on, honey. We can't miss our reservation. The oysters are calling me. We'll be back before you know it. You guys be good. Oops. The dry cleaning. Yes, Mrs. L. We'll pick it up and drop it off within 24 hours. Guaranteed. Oh, we won't be here tomorrow. Can you just drop it in the backyard? Backyard. Got it, Mrs. L. Yes! Two whole 
days to relax au naturel. Grossness! May I suggest you get these cleaned while you have the chance? The laundry guy will be here soon. It's so bad I can't even see. Yeah, probably time to freshen these up. Delicious! This is exactly what I've been dreaming of the last few weeks. And it's so romantic. Uh. Uh. Honey, I feel a little weird. Yeah, things are looking kind of strange. Let's go back home before it gets worse. Ugh. Oh, this is great. I forgot how much fun it is to scratch all day. Oh, yeah. Massive scratching. Yeah, you can scratch those hard to reach places. Yeah, it's nice to also be our normal selves a little bit too. <laughs> Ah. Oh, you're right! To be wild without being in the wild! Yeah! We can be totally wild! <laughs> oh! 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 What are you doing? Do I look pale and green and sweaty all over? Are my eyes blotching red? No. Why? I thought maybe I was having a fever dream. All this wildness around me is all just too weird. <laughs> oh, come on, Vic. We're just having some fun. Join us. Uh, no. House cats do not act wild. Oh, there's gotta be a lioness in there somewhere. Oh, come on, give me a big cat roar. That's all you got? Please. <laughs> oh, Vicky! Oh, that felt really good. Yeah! yeah. Wow, Vic! <laughs> Sick because I'm seeing crazy things right now. Oh, <sighs> really sick. Seeing things? Do I look pale and green and sweaty all over? Are my eyes blotching red? No. Why? I thought maybe I was having a fever oh. dream. All this wildness around me is all just too weird. I've got an idea. It's a long shot, but it's the only one we've got. We're gonna have to stall them as long as we possibly can until our costumes arrive. But also, they'll think it was all just a really weird fever dream. <laughs> Stop, evil villains, unhand the princess. Help me, help me. Ah! <laughs> Take me 
to your leader. I'm taking over the planet. Help me, help me. I'm help. a wild, wild lion, and you are my prey. before the laundry arrives. Because if the laundry man sees Mitch, he'll freak out and we might not get our costumes back. Hey, Mitch, why don't you pick on someone your own size? I'm gonna get you! Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Vic when she was a little kitten. I was pretty cute. And here's one of you and Vic. 
Aw, she's having her first piece of salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Most of these are just a Vic. We don't have any nice new pictures with all our pets. A family portrait. Fantastic. Let's do something simple and cozy. Or we could take a humorous theme photo. A theme photo? Yes, you know, where we all pose like scuba divers or golfers. <laughs> well, that's just the opposite of simple and cozy. Oh, I know. We'll go to the forest and take a wildlife photo. Simple and rustic. The woods it is. We'll bring a picnic. Did she say woods? <laughs> Into the woods? Our old neighborhood? What if somebody we know sees us? That could blow our cover. <laughs> We'd never be able to come back. <laughs> You guys are such big babies. It's not like you're gonna have to hunt for food. Mrs. L will bring you treats, relax. It's not that, it's the dirt in your fur. The fleas in your ears. The pine needles in your paws. And the litter box. We need just the right spot for the photo. Something with trees in the background. Oh, right here. This is the spot and the light is perfect. Hurry, everyone! <laughs> Perfectionist! Come on, guys! It's picture time! Okay, the faster we get this over with, the faster we get out of the woods. No pine needles, please! Oh, Vic, you have to at least come out long enough for the family photo! Uh, oh. Come on, Vic, don't be so childish! <laughs> Okay, say cheese! Oh, missed it. One more time, guys. Cheese! Nailed it, gorgeous, yes! Except, there's a bear in the shot! I know. I just have to start... Keys. Uh -huh. Where are the keys? Oh, no. You left them on the picnic table. <laughs> hey, he's going to eat my picnic. <laughs> Sam, that's not a random bear, that's Mitch, our old neighbor. Ah, yes, I know that food smeared face and bad temper anywhere. What are we gonna do? I've got a plan. <laughs> I knew it, I knew you'd come up with something. For starters, we can't let Mitch see us with our costumes. Too many questions. Eugenie, Susie, you go that way. Distract the elf. Aye, aye, Sam! We can't let them see us without our costume. Okay, now wait. Well, that's as far as I got. Okay, I like it. Mm -hmm. Eugenie and Susie, there they are. Stay right here, Vic, we'll be right back. Hey, girls. Hey, Mitch! <laughs> Washington, Sam! What are you guys doing here? The whole forest has been looking for you. We, uh, we were snatched. Snatched? Kidnapped by humans. <laughs> and that's where we've been the whole time. That's terrible! We gotta hide you before they try to take you back. No, wait. Uh, Mitch, we... The humans will hear you. Come on! Susie! Eugenie! Where are you guys? Okay, let's head back to base camp. The keys! That's it! Hey, but where are they going? Suit 
were still here, but they disappeared. Mitch took them with him. What are we going to do? Take the basket. We can use it as bait. I'll take care of the costumes. Oh, fine one. Susie? Eugenie? Ah! I'm scared. D don't, don't be afraid. I'm here. Ah! Hmm? Oh, you guys smell weird. Oh, yeah. They make us wash with this horrible stuff called soap. Mm. Ew! That's gross! Finally, back to the wildlife. Oh, ow! Yeah, my paws already missed fluffy carpet. Fluffy carpet? What's that? <laughs> oh, ah, oh. Two. Ah, two. Ah, two. Uh, Gesundheit, you okay? <sighs> Allergies. Too much fresh air. Those dumb humans made you guys soft. You gotta get used to the wildlife again. You probably forgot a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. Maybe you should show us. What's wrong with your eye? Oh, uh, dust. <laughs> Forest dust. Like you said, I'm too soft. Hmm. Well, after all that, I'm hungry. Let's track down some treats, like wild animals. <laughs> That rock. <laughs> I forgot how weak you two are. <laughs> Go ahead, it's the taste of home. <laughs> I do for this family. <laughs> you guys forgot how to deal with fleas, huh? Oh, hello, big boy. Now you do me. No, 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 no. It's your turn to deflee me. Yeah, let me make it easy for you. This time, I won't turn around. have to brush up on your scary attack paws if you want to try to fend off pesky humans. Okay? Attack pose! Ah, worse than I thought. I'll show you. It came from over there. Let's go. Yeah, got it. Thanks. <laughs> the keys! Ouch! Oh, no! Watch and learn. You'll need this. No! Oh! My second basket of the day! <laughs> Where did Washington and Sam go? <laughs> they went that way? Thanks, weird dog. I owe you. <laughs> That was Washington and Sam. <laughs> Our darling pets. Thank goodness. Wait a minute.
minute. They liked those humans. They weren't kidnapped. They ran away. <laughs> Everyone say cheese. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's almost time for the movie. Now, where did I leave my purse? Oh, in the bedroom with the shoes. Like a puppy's ear. Or three-ply toilet paper. Wow, that looks really comfy. I need to try it. It. My nightmare. Come on, wake up, rise and shine. We have a movie to catch. Let's go, sleepyhead. No, oh wait, no, come on. Just five or 10 or maybe 30 minutes more, please. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go. Just hang on one second. Nice and safe, where no animal hair can touch you. Let's go! Time for a little test drive. Ugh, gotta say, this is as good as it gets. Vic, didn't you hear Mr. L? He put that blanket up there to keep us off it. He didn't mean me, silly. This is what cats do. We nap on their stuff. Mmm, really is soft. Yay! I just remembered. I'm a cat, too. If she can do it, so can I. Wait, Sam. I don't think that's such a good idea. <laughs> hey! That was about to be the best nap of my life, and you just ruined it! Now you've got to put this blanket back up there, genius. After my second nap, that is. I only got to touch it with my face for a second, but it was like floating on a cloud. Pet Victoria. For one thing, you're the cleverest. And easily the cutest. Don't tell the others. <laughs> what? What? What happened? I need it. I'm a cat too. Sam, it's my turn. That's strange. It felt so soft on my face. Oh, wait a second. I know why. I gotta take my costume off to feel it. Sam! 
and the bravest, too. Don't forget the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. We love you so much, Sam. Because of you, we're the happiest humans in the whole world. Sam, what are you doing? You took your costume off? What's with you? What if somebody saw you? Wow, that was the best dream ever. And once and for all, stay away from that blanket. Uh, uh, oh. hmm? <laughs> Here, Washington, let me help you with that blanket. Nope, sorry. Wish I could believe you. Look! There it is! Can we try it? Stop! I'll just wait right here until the elves get back, and they'll see that I was protecting it. <laughs> what? You genie! Susie? What are you doing? be that soft. Can it? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes. That is delicious. You're the best dog, Washington. I can't believe you're my best pal. I'm the luckiest big cat in the world. I admit it, you're way cooler than me. We love you, Wash. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Washington, or should I say, man's best friend. <laughs> that means you get to eat anything you want. <laughs> You're a good dog, Washington. Good dog, good dog, good dog. <laughs> Dream, and it was an awesome dream, too! It's mine! I want it! I didn't get to have a real nap! Come on, give it! I know what you were trying to do! You tried to take it away from me while I was sleeping! How rude! Some friends you are! I'm just a cute little bird, and you wouldn't even share a tiny corner with me! What's gotten into you guys? You are a huh? cute bed hog! That's so typical of you to take a cheap shot! That's just because you're jealous of me and my bunny hopping skills! Guys! Guys! I'm the one who tried to avoid bringing the blanket down, but you had to go and ruin it for me. 
And now look at the mess you've caused, just like a wild boar. What? How rude! <gasps> This is crazy! You've all gone mad! Move it, Fed Fox! Oh no! The Living Stones! Okay! That's enough! We'll sit on that one. Is that clear? Wash, you're the best. You saved the day. That blanket had to go. Thank you. <laughs> oh. 